So how do you move forward after what happened here? And what exactly does moving forward look like? Rob Elementary is going to be demolished, but what does the community want in its place? There are eight schools in the Uvalde CISD, 4,000 students. Let's talk about security today and how secure the students are when they go into school. But we've made great strides in uh, our security fencing at every campus, eight foot high security fencing. Uh, we've ordered 600 uh, security cameras that are now in place. We are re-keying our district, moving toward secure access cards uh, and keypads. Uh, we are putting the final touches on a security operations center which will be a centrally located center where we can monitor all cameras and all access to all exterior doors in the, in, in the district. We're not quite finished. We, we have quite a bit of work to do to have uh, secure vestibules at each campus entrance. That has gone slow, uh, but that's in the plans. We'll continue to work. When I took this job on, the biggest, I guess my, my main goal was to build a foundation for the police department. And every officer since then that we've brought on is um, understanding that we're also building trust back with the community and building um, relationships back with the community and uh, along with our staff and our students. As far as training, we get them certified as uh, school-based law enforcement officers, which uh, entails them learning to deal with students with disabilities, uh, learning to deal with students um, that may have a 504 plan, things of that nature, and also where that's not so common you in law enforcement, but then you have the whole active shooter and alert piece to it. So it's dealing with students with uh, certain types of disabilities, and then it's also, okay, now this is the uh, alert active shooter piece. So that's part of the training that is different when it comes to working in the school district. Are you confident that what you've been able to do since the start of the school year is enough? to prevent another shooting from happening. Uh, it's very difficult to secure every single student get on the bus anywhere in the community, right? It's very difficult to protect everything at large gatherings like football games and concerts. And other, I mean, um, there's just, you know, we were built, schools were built to include people in to all these facilities, not keep them away. And so there's still work to be done and our students can still be vulnerable in certain positions no matter, uh, no matter how much security we have. It's hard to be at 100%. So yeah, we still worry about it. I worry about that. Being in this role and being in this field as long as I have, I've had the same mindset and mentality that I'm gonna keep your kids safe uh, because there's someone at my, my child's school that's gonna keep my kids safe. And um, on the law enforcement side of it is uh, I will keep your kids safe. I will protect your child. And th that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. I will protect your child. If, some, if a bad person into, entered our schools, I will protect your child at all costs. Does that mean you would have gone in the room? I will protect their child at all costs, ma'am. Thing like a park or anything to go up there because I just feel shouldn't be playing and celebrating where our children were murdered and that is what they were was murdered so is isn't that doesn't feel right so I thought maybe just um, plant some trees some nice flowers maybe a little walking trail through there you know just a peaceful like a passive park yeah as long as no other child has to go to that school, and it's what I want. So they could make like a memorial place for them, and like so they could be remembered and never forgotten. You know, like the way they've been doing, you know, it and stuff. So yeah, like a memorial place for them. I went to school there. My mom went to school there. 
there's so much history in that building that pretty much was flushed on the toilet the second that this guy walked into the building. I don't think I've thought about it too much. I know they mentioned something about a park, and while I think it's like sweet, at the same time, I think it's a little, like, it's a little eerie to think about kids playing where kids died. There has to be something peaceful out of it. That's what I would like, whether it's a memorial. I know people visit the plaza downtown, but really it's here. There has to be something for them to be remembered there. Because it was, it, it started as a good day. It was a good day for them. You know, the awards, you know, and their activities that they were doing. But I know it's tragic as well. How do you balance that? We're looking at breaking ground this summer. And then um, 18 months is about the uh, number of months it takes to build a school of this uh, size. And so we're looking at you know, late fall of 24 to be substantially completed. There'll be safety and security that are unseen, that are gonna be keeping the children safe and the student and the adults safe. And then so that they can focus on uh, learning and, and, and teaching and, and enjoying uh, the, the time that they have at the school. There's a glassed-in walkway. Uh, it's two stories, uh, and within that walkway will be a representation of an oak tree. It will branch off in two main branches, representing the two teachers. And then from those two branches, there'll be 19 smaller branches that represent the students. Uh, and that structure will be a part of the building. It'll reach up to the ceiling. It'll be there for the next 90 years as a, a, a memory of, of, of the children and the adults that uh, passed away. This is the reason why this school is um, being provided uh, to the community of Uvalde and we want to make sure that we bring their thoughts uh, into this uh, work as well as have um, a, an appropriate uh, component of the school to, to remember the 19 children and the two teachers. What happened last year in May is not going to define Uvalde. How Uvalde has come together to move forward from that is what's defining Uvalde. When this tragedy became part of the national conversation, members of the public went to their lawmakers to see what they were doing to keep school children safe. How that quickly became political.